Okay, let's call the meeting to order. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We got everything going. Okay. Does everybody have the opportunity to read the minutes? I have. I have. I would entertain a motion to approve as presented. Also move. I second that, Mr. Chairman. It's moved and seconded. Those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes three to zero. Commissioner comments and committee reports. Eric? Uh, I had uh, NEK multi-county health board meeting last night in uh, Jackson County. Um, things seem to really be going good. Uh, later in, during business, we uh, will be asked to... Uh, uh, approve Bonnie Tackett as the medical director for the agency and Cameron Roloff, the registered nurse, uh, has been promoted to the supervisory role. Um, very positive on on these hirings. Um, the agency is had a good start to this year. Uh, a lot of the um, uh, we call it the home health and hospice numbers are, are up, especially with the uh, Horton and Hiawatha hospitals uh, giving up theirs that they had done. The, the numbers up there are, are going up, so the uh, agency has been taking on more of that. Um, but all in all, we've had. Uh, Good numbers. Uh, the client scene has been uh, increasing here in the county. Uh, WIC numbers, there's 403 people in, enrolled in WIC. Um, and the agency, our county agency, is going to do our biometric screening for the county employees. And that will be March 28th. Two, um, day, two days, I believe. Twenty-eighth and twenty-ninth. I'm sorry. One well, one's here at the courthouse and one's at the uh, nursing home. So that's all I have. Uh, uh, let me let me ask Eric a question about that. Is there challenges with the? I keep reading about the hospitals in the other parts of the county being challenged financially, both in Horton and in. Not a Has that had anything of a thinking of a group? Or? Um, I asked that question at the end of the meeting. I said, we really haven't addressed it. Things have been brought up. It's like, but I finally came out and asked, how is that going to affect the agency? Well, we really don't know it, if those hospitals would close and doctors would leave at least in that area, the importance of the medical clinic could really go up because more people would be utilizing that. Mm -hmm. uh, so financially, it might be good to have the business, and for, but is that a good thing for the community? No. So, you know, it's we really don't know how it will shake out, but that's, that's something that's on our radar screen. Mm -hmm. A little bit like we talked with Corey about the ambulance service. You know, if, if the uh, Horton closes, you know, and, and they have their countywide service, and we do uh, inter or uh, what is that when they come in to turn to that? Uh, mutual, mutual aid. aid. Um, <laughs> how is that going to uh, affect uh, our ambulance service? And theirs, you know, there's going to be a lot of um, kind of growth there when if if one or both of those hospitals get closed. We have to grow. Okay. It's I, a very serious. Uh, I spoke topic. to somebody who had a pretty good understanding of specifically the Horton Hospital, 
And as a freestanding unit, it's a profitable operation. The challenge is that they're owned by an out-of-state company who keeps pulling resources. They make the money and they pull it away. Yeah. And that's been the kind of a challenge. So becoming independent again might be their best course of action. But again, I'm talking from a person who only knows a little bit and enough to be dangerous. But, but we've got to keep an eye on this whole situation. Yeah, uh, I really can't say anything, make any comments on the hospitals. Uh, anything that I know is just speculation. But as far as like uh, I felt with the the health clinic and the ambulance service is kind of a dovetails a little bit. You know, how is um, a reduced staff or reduced uh, hospital availability going to affect either agency? So that's, we, it, it was just, we had good discussion about it, but there was nothing that we could really put a finger on. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting. Expansion yes. of Medicaid and all that stuff is a part of that formula, too. Yeah. But the uh, legislature is working on the Medicaid billing is something that uh, we were, you know, kind of addressing there because it sounds like there was some problems with up there that the billing in Brown County, I'm not even for sure which hospital they were talking about was a problem, but our agency has really had no, has been getting really good uh, results with the billing and the, uh, the receipts. So hopefully that it's just, a problem that's unto themselves. Well, I had a meeting <clears throat> last week, but I didn't make it to it. I had a flat tire, and I was like froze to death, so I didn't make it. So I can't report on what was said. I Take understand. Out. I Take understand out. that pain. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't want to be outside very long. Oh, man, that. It was cold last Tuesday. Um, I didn't have an official meeting. I did attend the uh, legislative coffee, which is. By the way, the first Saturday and every month during the legislature, uh, Karen Tyson was there. Oh. She was a representative, but she was there. And then uh, John Epley was the representative there. But they gave us a lot of insight of what's going on. And uh, I, I, there's a lot of conversation from uh, citizens. Uh, I just hope everybody remembers that they can attend. Um, I intended on going, and I had even responded to Derek that I intended on going, but something came up the last yeah, minute. So it's, get, get, it's always been, I always learned something that I didn't know. So it's definitely worth it. And that's true of any of our citizens. Mm -hmm. they, they should take advantage of it. And, you know, I think there was like 35 or 40 people there, but they asked a lot of good questions. And, and uh, very professionally put, and the, uh, our representatives answered them very well. Of course, everybody's concerned about taxes. Yeah. That seems to be the central thing that everybody was talking about in the meeting, especially property taxes. And well, of course, the state doesn't have much to do with property taxes. But, um, so that's a, that's a challenge. Um, I guess I could bring up now too that we're planning on having a a uh, meeting with all the townships. Uh, that information is going to be going out. Uh, it's going to be March 26th at 7 p.m. Uh, at the Lancaster City Building. Um, so people can put that in their calendar. Uh, all the commissioners will be there. Sure, we'll have some county staff and then, of course, representatives from the township. So uh, be good. Seth will be sending a lot. Seth and Michelle will be sending information out on that. Um, okay, new business before the board. We have, as Eric just went through, the, the appointment of, uh, of Bonnie Taggett, MD, as a medical director of Atchison County Health Department, and um, Cam Cameron, Cameron Wallach, Wallach uh, has been appointed to supervise roles as the health department in Atchison. Um, the chair will entertain a motion to approve these appointments. I'd like to make that motion. Okay, I'll, been, I'll second the motion. It's been moved to second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, I said you're ready to vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Passes. Three to zero. Uh, here's an information item. Uh, Douglas County Public Works is having a Northeast Kansas County Highway Officials Conference. It's going to be March 28th in, uh, 
in Lawrence. Uh, it looks like it's free. Um, but you have to tell them that you want to go before March 15th. So, does anybody, the county commissioners, want to go, or do we want to make sure some of our people are there? We want to make sure Seth goes. Yeah, Seth, for sure. I wouldn't mind going, but I haven't set a calendar yet. So, what, um, what's the time of day on that? It's um, it's an eight. To, okay, eight 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 forty five is registration, and then um, lunch is provided. Um, it didn't say the end time. But I assume yeah. early afternoon after lunch is usually the way those things go. Mm -hmm. Do you want? Do you want it? I'm sorry. Give the chairman or commissioner. If you two aren't interested in that, I mean, I might consider going. That some reason that week is loaded with meetings, including our township meeting and all that kind of stuff. So needs to be. I'm sure Seth's aware of that meeting. He should attend. Yeah, that's where I came from. Did he email it to us? Go ahead and put that in there for okay. now. I've got all for them. Okay. Uh, new business. Um, I got a purchase order here um, to Kenworth and St. Joseph to re uh, overhaul. I guess the word is the purple truck. <laughs> Uh, for lack of better nomenclature, and there's going to be a three-year limited warranty. Um, the labor cost is fifty-five hundred. The parts are twenty-three thousand six hundred three dollars. Uh, so the total comes up with the uh, warranty twenty-nine thousand six hundred and three dollars and seventy cents. Uh, we did have quite a few other bids on it. Most of us were thought this was high. And after recognizing, first of all, it's the Kenilworth people doing a Kenilworth talk, that this is the best course of action. One of them is 41,000. 41,000. I never dreamed. That, you know, I, did, I did a little checking, and uh, the neighbor guy had his overhaul, and that was roughly what he paid. So mm -hmm. it's in line. Okay. So with that, Mr. Chairman, if there's no other conversation, I would make a motion. Okay. Um, I have a second. Motion. I'll second. second it. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, I assume you're ready to vote. All um, in favor, signify pass by saying aye. 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 Point. Oh. Uh, do, are we including the one year? Yeah, 32,193. I'm sorry. With right. the extended warranty. Yeah, Just to right. make sure that the. Yeah, that's on there. Okay. You said 29. Uh, yeah, it's 29 plus 25, so 32,193. Just so we're clear on that. Okay, so is everybody ready to vote? Yes. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Passes 3 to 0. Do we need more than one copy signed? No, just one copy. This is the 5th or 6th? 5th. It's flying by, isn't it? It's already spring. <laughs> Where? <laughs> okay. In Florida tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Again. <laughs> okay. So we have a bid opening at uh, two at one thirty for the ambulance. Um, it's only one fifteen. Do we want to move on to any old bid? No, we get. We got not did that multi count. Uh, you done did that, did you? So there's take you want to take a does anybody want to interested in taking a break for until we do the bit open? I would move that we adjourn or uh, not adjourn but uh, recess until one thirty. After the bit opening. Moved move and seconded. Uh, all those in favor sick of by saying aye. 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 Passes three to zero. So we are in recess. We've been in recess, and we're going to do a pit opening. Uh, Corey, we'll turn it over to you. All right. Good afternoon. Um, as it's been scheduled on here, we've uh, solicited for bids on a new ambulance.
uh, the bid spec was posted on the uh, county website for a period of two weeks and it's getting a bit opening on, uh, on today so I guess we just go ahead and go forward with the bid opening but uh, this one is NIA Pennington TMA Operations Newport Arkansas I don't know specifically which company that, that would be. This part is almost the same all the new school first store. No, they provided a copy. Do we need to open a copy too or Uh, this one would be from TaylorMade Ambulances. Uh, there is a copy of our specification at the beginning of it. Copy of their warranty information. I don't know how much here I need to actually announce, Mr. Henderson. CAD drawings. Copies of their structural tests. This one they uh, is on a Chevrolet chassis. Not actually finding a number in this one. <laughs> this may certainly be my fault. Well, but I looked at the first page. All right, sorry, my apologies. <laughs> um, their bid is $134,765. Um, it would be on either a Ford F-350 or a GMC 3500. In either case, uh, they are offering a trade allowance for our 2013 Ford E450 e of $2,500. How much? $2,500. Really? That's nice. That was kind of my expectation there. I apologize for going all the way through that one when it was right on the front page. So. Next. And now, the, you specified a diesel engine, correct? Correct. So each, they would each have their own version of the diesel engine? Correct. In the, in the bid specification, I specifically bid out either a Ford 6.7 liter power stroke or a GM 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. Do you have experience with Taylor boxes? No, actually I do not. It would be a zero experience. I've never worked off one and I've never even been around one. It says Pinnacle Emergency Vehicles. This one is uh, Ford F-350. Demers brand from Pinnacle Emergency Vehicles. 170. One seven zero one four three hundred seventy thousand hundred forty three dollars. They are offering forty five hundred in trade on the twenty thirteen E four fifty. Also, I've never been around a 
a Demers ambulance either. How do you, how do you spell that? Dem D E M E R S. So the um, sales company is Pinnacle, and the brand of ambulance is Demers. Where are they from? Uh, Demers, I believe, is out of Canada. The brokerage company is. Out of Missouri. It's Correction. Centerton, Arkansas. I thought they were out of Missouri. The sales manager is in Missouri and Kansas sales manager. My apologies. Well, Centerton is just west of Missouri. Guardian Denver. Ah. Well, Centerton is just south of Pittman. I don't know Arkansas. Mm -hmm. All right, the next one is American Response Vehicles. This one is for uh, 2019 Ford F350 Tramahawk, AEV Tramahawk brand ambulance. Their bid is for $171,249. I'm not seeing a trade on the other ambulance specifically listed out, but they do have AEV ARV discounts of $4,750, which is factored into the 171249 number. What's that figure again? $4,750. $4,750. I don't know if that's the trade or not. But that's the 171 is net of that. So it's, net, correct. It's more than that. That's 40. Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what that means, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see if it details it out anywhere else. We're going through it page by page, that's all I'm seeing. So without that number, without that 4,750 number. It's 175.999. You said Tommy Hawk? Trauma Hawk. Trauma, trauma, trauma. I was going to say other Tommy's campus. <laughs> Alright, and the last one Osage Industries. I know they're out of Lynn, Missouri. Nothing to buy. Sorry. I'm just a bit My grandson would love those. I'm just saying, I'm back in, but always popped up and drove me kind of crazy. Still good to do it. Would you like me to leave those? Driving yourself crazy. Yeah. They did that for that little boat. That's May have been cheaper to ship that than the but. Okay, this one is a Ford F-350 chassis. So, without trade, $175,800. They're offering $4,500 on our trade. 
So with trade, one hundred and seventy-one thousand three hundred. There is a huge discrepancy between the first one and the other three are right in line with one another. How come we didn't get a bid from the last company? Don't know. They actually called and asked some questions about the bid specs, so I don't have an answer to that one at all. So you have a thought about how we should proceed for it? Well, it would be my recommendation that uh, the commission table the subject law review bid specs, especially with the discrepancy in this one, to make sure it actually meets our. For how long? Uh, till next commission meeting is the 12th of March. Good. I'd like to find, or you need to find out where some of these are. Or Good. Look, have a physical inspection if you could. Of one of those to look at them. Because, mm -hmm. you know, 10,000 or that 134 might be a good and it might be nothing really. They'd be more expensive than the hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure they could provide you if you called them up, they could tell you where one would be close by. The chair will entertain a motion to table this until uh, Corey and the staff can review it. I come back to us next week with a recommendation. I so move, Mr. Chairman. And I'll second that. Move to the second. Is there any further discussion? Corey, anything else? You think a week's time would be enough time for it? Yeah. Okay. Definitely review this in a week's time and uh, get with Michelle and come back on the 12th. Yeah. It's been moved and seconded. Are you ready to vote? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Passes 3 to 0. Very good. All right, gentlemen. We're all with under budget, so that's one hurdle. That's a good one. All right. What are the rest of the stories in terms of well, we dig in the details? Yeah. Yeah. That part of the discrepancy, that large, I want to know. Yeah. And where's that first one? Where are they from? Arkansas. Good point. No. No. There that was from the Arkansas. Second one. The first one was. First and second one were both okay. from Arkansas. I missed it the first time. I, I believe. Let me know. The only difference was uh, the other, one of them was on a Chevy GM. And the rest of them were forward. Yeah, the, the first one was either. The or. first one was either or. I see. Um, I at the you. same money. Um, only thing it says about the GM chassis, it would have an unknown unknown lead time, where the Ford chassis would have a 145 day lead time. Yeah, Newport, Arkansas. So. I'm going to say Ford's kind of got the market on that style of ambulance, don't they? It's yeah. It's like the ones I've seen in Topeka and elsewhere. But yeah, is that delivered? Or, you it or, not? or you can check in. This one says provide delivery. Um, I didn't know if you had that in your specs, delivered or... I did put delivered in the spec. I this one says delivery. I would take into consideration how close they are if we've got a problem and we've got to, because mm -hmm. I think that the last one we had to take back didn't, we, didn't have to be sent back. Texas. Uh, they came and got it though. And under warranty and provided a loaner. Yeah. So, so they've been really good. I'm honestly surprised they didn't bid this time. Their salesperson did call me and ask questions about the specification. So this one would be built in Canada, but sold out of also Arkansas, Centerton. That was the last one. Right? Yeah. So Centerton's a lead. Yeah. Response vehicles is out of Lee, Missouri, which I don't believe is far from Columbia. I remember correctly. Yeah. The yeah, Newport Osage, Osage is Jeff City, Missouri, which actually the, the trade-in ambulance, potential trade-in ambulance, uh, came from there. 
It was an Osage ambulance. To purchase them was your was your intention to try to get rid of that one? Well, part of the reason I I wrote the bid spec either way is I wanted to see, kind of wanted to see how much they give on it, and then make a decision if it's worth more for us to just keep it and have that fifth ambulance if I have a place to store it somewhere. They're going to offer us $2,500, so we can tuck it in a building, start it once a month, and then I would have that option of an emergency ambulance if we had a couple go down. You know, I knew it wasn't worth much going into this process. And generally speaking, when people came out, you know, several people came out to do demos and get the bids back and such, now they looked at it and kind of said, yeah, it's worth about $3,000. So I have a pretty good idea going in what it was worth. So I guess it doesn't make sense if we're only going to get what it ended up being between twenty five hundred and forty seven fifty mm -hmm. out of it. Does it make more sense? I bet you get more purple wave. Yeah, we might get more on that was the other option. Yeah. Do we get more on it a purple wave? Or at that money, the money we've spent getting it reliable again, do we sit on it a few years and have spare? So that was something I wanted to look well, at. Well first of all I could answer it too. Uh, we knew we was gonna need it. We didn't have to stick a lot more money into it. It's no brainer. But if we got to keep it and use it very little, and next time we use it, we got to pour more money in it, trade it, and get rid of it. Has it been reliable as of late? It's been reliable, but we we dumped a lot of money in that truck in to get it back up to speed. Is that the one we had the engine problem with? Uh, or is it which engine, engine problem? <laughs> I, I hate to put it that way. It was not a fatal engine problem. We didn't have to put an engine in that one. The the one that the engine was completely shot is the one we remounted. Okay. Uh, this one has had, um, which I'm, I'm told is pretty typical for the Ford V10 engines, that spark plug and head problems. And we've been repairing them as they come up. And we spent some money on that one. And that one we also had to have the cab removed to put the exhaust manifolds on. Because they had cracked and they were leaking the exhaust in the cab, which is not a particularly good thing. So we've spent a lot of money on the truck. Send it down the road. My thought would be is we can get more out of Purple Wave if we're going to get rid of it. And I could be wrong. We take a risk there to get an option. With that option, you could have it make sure that the new one well, you got is it. functioning correctly before. Well, yeah, I would, you, yeah. know, you could you yeah. know, get rid of it in six months. You mentioned 145 days before they even start building it. 145 day lead time. Well, that would give you enough so. time to see what you can do. Yeah. No, I wouldn't if you be in decide to, to get that, rid of it until the other one was here in service. You know, these are complex vehicles too. They sometimes have to go back a couple of times. It's not uncommon at all due to the complexity of the vehicle, which I've written the bid spec to be the least amount of complexity and still meet the. We didn't do bells and whistles. There's no touch screens. There's, you know, it's analog switches. Stuff our people can repair in the field. My maintenance officer can repair. And we struggle with that really fancy and once to That last one was pretty damn fancy. And it's just stuff, you know, my maintenance officer, officer he doesn't have the education to fix that. It's got to go to I the knew that, I knew that when they wanted to take it and go to some show, but I knew they would have had everything on. Thank you. So. Anything else, Corey? No. Huh? Thanks for all you guys do. Very, very well. Thank welcome. you. When is our next ambulance advisor? Mm -hmm. Board mm -hmm. meeting. April. But the date, I'm not sure. Okay. Actually, yeah, I was going to steal the box and uh, that would make my life a little bit easier. You leave the bubble wrap for her? Yeah, I'll leave the bubble wrap. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I would feel bad if I took the. Well, I thought you got a pretty population on our camera. I'll leave that up to you. That's all right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to come on up, Corey, you can search on Purple Wave by closing it. You can search on Purple Wave by functions. Mm -hmm. And so it shows what's the highest it has. Okay. 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 I have no idea. Well, tell us what you're up to today. I'll tell you. You can search. I just did an interview. I don't know if I did an interview. No, they just did an interview. Yes. You're on. Um, I'm here to 
see about getting the, the two POs. One is for the law enforcement server, and the other one is for the uh, communications agreement with um, Midwest Mobile for a radio. Yes, this is for on, on, uh, on YouTube and stuff here. Why don't you explain to people who would take the time to watch uh, what, what we're doing, how, it got, how we got here, how was approved, the process? The process. Okay, the law enforcement centers is needing a new server upgrade. Um, we are out of room. Windows 2008 is no longer being utilized. Um, we, the Joint Communications Board, uh, approved to do a lease option with Huber and Associates for 2,395.95 a month through the rest of 2019. And that will be taken out of the 152 fund, and then it will be budgeted for the next year's amount will be budgeted for in 2020. Okay. Well, the chair will entertain a motion to approve the uh, server monthly lease for a period of three years, 23, 95, 95 monthly. Um, I have a motion. Also moved. It's been moved. Do I have a second? I second. It's seconded. Uh, any further discussion? That amount is for three years, that 2300 a month? Correct. It's about, it's about 30x thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I should have one. At which time we. No, it's 30,000 a year. I mean, right. Yeah. At which time then will be a new bid or a, a new price for all new equipment at that time? Correct. They will come in, Hewell will come in and, and remove all this equipment and replace it with new equipment with another leasing option. Any other questions? I presume at that time we'd probably get two bids in the three years from now and replace it to make sure. That's if that's what the board and the commissioners want, then we can get two bids. Any, any more questions? Hearing that, I assume you're ready to vote. All those in favor, favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Passes three to zero. Okay, Kim, you're still on. Okay, second PO is going to be for Midwest Mobile Radio Service to do a service contract for all of Atchison County's radios. We have a total of 272 radios. It works out to $5 per radio. Um, I believe copy. Or the, the monthly fee is $1,360. Yeah. Correct. They were committed for how long? That is, that is a monthly fee for the life of the radios. So that's not going to be a yearly change. I mean, it's going to stay that. For it, it will stay that unless we get. It says in the contract if if we have more radios, then the price could go up and down. So that wouldn't be until we purchase new radios in 2025. So do we own these radios? Yes, we do. And the radios are all serial numbered and attached. Yep, everything. There's a yeah if complete list study. of every radio that's on the agreement. And who has? We just got those, what, three years ago? Two years ago? Three. Yeah. Correct. Um, we have seven years left. Um, who has all these radios? Is that what you asked? For most people, most of these radios are the rural fire department. Yeah. We have fire, emergency management. Yeah, they're police they're all over the county police departments. Sure. Yep. That's for all I'm just surprised to see how many rural fire departments. Mm -hmm. Okay. The chair will entertain a motion to approve um, the monthly fee of $1,360, the JT Communications uh, Midwest Mobile Radio Service. Do I have a motion? I so move, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Yes, I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I assume you're ready to vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes 3 to 0.
Did you guys sign the contract? contract oh, the commission. That's what I'm going to look at. Yeah. Is that just one? Yes. And would that be down here? Um. Yes, we would be the customer accepted this date. So Jack would sign which line? He would sign by and then as title here. Okay. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. You have a great day. Okay, moving right along. Do you want to do uh, the county council update? Um, I submitted to uh, to Michelle, and I think I'll be on either next week or the week after the uh, uh, proposed resolution on moving permits and for moving houses, moving buildings, and whatnot. So mm -hmm. um, it was submitted to uh, well everybody that I thought would be involved in the process. I got a few comments back, and they reflected. There's, there are some changes, and they reflected in there. Um, we currently charge a dollar for the permit, which is really more of a nuisance than it is anything else. Um, I would welcome any feedback. You don't necessarily have to adopt it as presented if uh, mm -hmm. you have any discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, Three hundred dollars for the permit, mm -hmm. yeah, and then I, I think uh, was it a thousand dollars for a, uh, for a bond? bond. Uh, those could be adjusted. By you either way. Uh, I know some counties have theirs based on uh, the distances traveled, also, and what kind of road they were on. Um, I'm not uh, smart enough to figure out what a reasonable formula would be for that. Uh, but this would apply to like those big tanks that came through Effingham a while back and all yeah, heavy so loads. Like modular. Yeah, it's mostly built, it's mostly moving. Uh, homes and pre-built homes um, and I think that group that you're mentioning I don't think they even went through the process of getting a permit I think they just used the roads and were directed away from the state highway. and it was on Sunday even so, so I know they weren't permitted to travel on Sunday I'm not, I'm not sure I see what if you move without a permit is there some kind of penalty oh there is it's already in the state statute it's in the state about the uh, it's a different amount based on uh, if it's the if it's weight or if it's uh, height. There's it, there's a state statute on each of them, so we don't actually make it a, an offense. Where's that penalty go? The homeowner or the company? The penalty. Well, if somebody commits a a violation of the traffic laws, it would be prosecuted through district court. You know, just like a speeding. Ticket the um, the fines go to the state general fund and court costs go to uh, um, well it's, there's a formula for where they go but um, it, it doesn't go to nothing's going to go to the county uh, county general fund I don't anticipate there being a lot of prosecution of violations if they're what I have, what I've proposed in there is that they will also post a bond, and if there are damages, then uh, that money would come to us. We, um, Seth would either fix it or contract to have whatever, it depends on what the mess up is, I guess, um, fixed, and then deduct it from the bond uh, and send the balance back or demand the, the balance from. The mover. So. I would like to see something in place so at least we have an idea of who's coming through and when, and then if there is a problem, we know who to contact. I mean, you know, when some of these outfits come through and 
they're gone, well then, if you see that they knocked a, if a bridge is down or they smashed a culvert, you know, there's no one, there's no contact information or anything. So, yeah. uh, Michelle, what? I don't want to play um, stunt the staff, but what we typically have like five to seven or uh, a year or something. Seven, eight at the max. Um, most of them being um, in manufactured homes. Um, I had one mobile home that went through the process, but most of them being from two companies that we may need later. Well, who has to pay for the manufactured home? Well, whoever's moving the um, whoever's moving it, and most of, they will pass that on uh, mm -hmm. pretty soon. And the, you know, the cost of that, I think, ought to reflect the amount of work that we're going to do with it. If it's, uh, are we going to have? I mean, there are policy decisions I think that you make, but are we going to uh, assign somebody to be with them when they travel through? Or are we just going to go through after them and see if they caused any problems? And so those are policy decisions that you will make. Yeah, we charge us rare dollars. Seems like we ought to observe what happens. I don't know how long it takes them to move either. I, I assume they're not moving at 60 miles an hour. But, no. Uh, like those houses go through pretty quickly, uh, usually. Now, those tanks where they had the extra length and they were trying to turn the corners, I mean, it took hours to get to some turns. So they can really tie traffic up for a long time. So we may want to have some discussion about. Uh, how to calculate to predict that fee to cover the costs if, if we're going to need to block traffic um, or do we need to have flaggers or do they need to supply flaggers and those are uh, all points that we should probably discuss I, it didn't occur to me that they would be hours but I, I I remember you, when you talked about it, and they were, but I hadn't, I hadn't thought about them. Yeah, they, they were. It was hours and hours because they were trying to make the curve, and they wouldn't, so they'd have to back it up. And uh, they look like submarines. I mean, big Trident submarines in on the main street of Evingham. They were huge, and I can't believe they were ever routed through there with those tight S turns, all through Monrovia and and thereby the park. And they couldn't. They would. They could make the curve, but then as the center of the tank would cut across people's yards, it hit a tree, and there's no way they were so long that they were hitting houses and or would have hit ha houses, and trees, and so it, it was a problem. It should have never been routed through. Anything else, Pat? Um, no, that's all that occurred. Um, so do we need an executive session today? Yes, yes, yes. I would ask for one. Personnel matters of uh, elected and non-elected officials? Just not elected. Right. She has the template. Yeah, yes. No, it would be both. 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 Well, the personnel issues of involving elected personnel is not a topic for uh, executive for executive session under well, at least not under that portion of the, the statute. I move that the board of county commissioners recess into executive session at. Can you put like three or four minutes on it? I need to take a trip down the downstairs. Two ten. Yeah. PM to discuss personal matters of non elected personnel is followed by KSA 75 4319B 1, and that the purpose of this closed session is to protect the privacy rights of the employee and the board to come out of executive session at 30 minutes, probably. 30 minutes. Okay. Are you? I don't know what you guys want me to discuss. Okay. So I don't know. Okay. 30. 30 minutes, so we come out at uh, 2.40 in the commissioner room, first floor courthouse. Vice president will be the three county commissioners, Jamie Madison and the county council.
I'll second that motion. It's been moved and seconded to the executive session. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Passes three to zero. Oh, okay, we're back in. Okay, we're back in session. Uh, those that communicate public comment, I guess we're uh, ready to adjourn. I entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Well, what are we going to call this three o'clock meeting? It's a workshop. Workshop, workshop and that's okay. scheduled. And okay. And it has been posted, correct? I'll second okay. that motion to adjourn. You we're going to second to adjourn. Uh, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Okay. We just had a conversation.